Good evening everyone, it's Haas here and I'm back with a bonus episode for Salmon Report this week as I really think this topic deserves its own video to spread the word as much as possible. For the full weekly report I recommend you to check out episode 2 of Salmon Report where I talk about all the news and other weapons but also bonus tips for Salmon Run this week. In this bonus episode on the other hand I'd like to talk about the current weapon rotation that started this morning but especially one weapon from the list, the Explosher. So this rotation we have the Splushomatic, Gutuber, Reflux 450 and the Explosher. In my opinion this rotation is by far the strongest we had in Splatoon 3 so far, to the point I think it's overpowered. And if you care about Salmon Run at all, these two days are the days to really push your rank, it's easier than ever. Sadly despite that I actually had quite a few terrible matches so I thought making this video is a must and hopefully it will help a lot of you. Just to quickly give a few tips for the other guns, Splusho Medic is by far the best DPS I've seen so far, it just melts everything in close range and is excellent at painting. Focus on just drilling down anything that is safe to stay close to and let your teammates handle the big bosses. This is by far the best close range boss killer or even horde clearer that I've seen so far. A lot of people also struggle with the Gootuber, my tip is to when you can't charge it just spam your auto attack as it deals incredible damage and is very ink friendly so don't be afraid to use it short range. But your main goal and your main objective is to make sure you get those steel heads for your team as it is a one shot, a one charge shot for you so that's your main priority. But the main topic is the Explosher this episode, it's by far the best weapon in this rotation. Apart from having an excellent range and decent damage, there are a few things that you should know about this slosher. First, that it pierces through Salmonid, so if there's a huge column of enemies approaching you, you can just aim at them and your shot will damage all the enemies, so make use of it during hordes. But the greatest advantage of this weapon on the other hand, that I don't see nearly enough people make use of, and is the main reason this video had to be made, is that Explosher shots count like a split bomb. This means for the worst bosses in Salmon Run such as the Flyfish, the Explosher is the ultimate counter. Just aim at their launchers like if you were to throw a grenade and your regular Explosher ink will destroy them, easy as that. This is pretty much as easy as it's going to get taking care of those Flyfishes and make sure you focus them if you get the Explosher in any wave, you will save your team every single time. A part of me always dies when I see someone not know about this awesome fact so spread the news, share the video if that helps to anyone that plays Salmon Run so we can make this known. Another cool fact about this Explosher shot is that since it counts as a split bomb basically, you can also use them during the Mudfish wave. As the background footage will show, my teammate is using his Explosher to quickly get rid of all those gates, making the wave a walk in the park. So overall I just wanted to share this bit of news since it's so deal breaking and game changing that everyone should know about it in Salmon Run as it's one of the best weapons you can get in the rotation. I hope this video was helpful and I ask everyone if you can share the video with your friends and communities so we spread the word for better teams in Salmon Run and improve together. If you're interested in additional tips then subscribe to the series of Salmon Report where I also share more news and tricks and learn together every week for Splatoon's PvE mode. But that's a wrap for this quick bonus episode for Salmon Report everyone, thank you for watching, hope this helps and see you next time.